Hidden in the natural world around us are powerful biological tools whose potential scientists are just beginning to unlock. For billions of years, bacteria have been under attack from viruses. But bacteria developed clever defense mechanisms to remember these viruses and fight back. Recently, scientists harnessed one of these natural tools called CRISPR-Cas9 and created a powerful gene editing technology with the potential to treat human disease. But Cas9 isn't the only CRISPR tool with applications for human health. A team of scientists found that a cousin of Cas9 called Cas13 can be harnessed to actually detect human disease. Here's how Cas13 works in its natural environment. First, it hunts for viral RNA using an RNA guide. When it finds its viral target, Cas13 becomes activated. In some circumstances, it cuts any RNA it encounters, a process termed collateral cleavage. It is this mechanism that scientists at the McGovern Institute, Broad Institute, and Harvard University harnessed to create Sherlock, a highly sensitive tool to detect infectious diseases in humans. Here's how the Sherlock detection system works. First, researchers take a sample from a patient with a possible viral infection, like the flu. Then, they amplify the levels of RNA in it and add reporters that are sensitive to Cas13. Then, an engineered CRISPR-Cas13 is added to the sample. This Cas13 is programmed with a guide RNA that is designed to find only virus RNA and bind to it. When this happens, Cas13 activates its cleaving mechanism and begins randomly slicing nearby RNA, including the reporters. Since each end of the reporter carries a different label, Cas13 separates these two signatures, creating a unique signal within the sample. The sample is then applied to a commercial flow detection system. If the sample is negative for flu, the reporter remains intact and collects at the first detection line. If the sample is positive for flu, it collects at a different location, making a diagnosis easy to spot. So easy, in fact, Sherlock can be used in the field to detect emerging infectious diseases and outbreaks like Ebola virus. Before Sherlock, field samples had to be refrigerated and shipped to labs with expensive gene sequencing equipment. Now, Sherlock can be adapted to detect any genetic signature, even ones associated with cancer, in virtually any location. CRISPR-Cas9 and Cas13 are just two examples of natural biological systems that scientists have modified to fight genetic and infectious disease. The question remains, what other tools are out there in the natural world just waiting to be discovered. <laughs>